Right, week six and the final week of the production of Delilah, the music video. Okay, so we shot on the Tuesday. Cameron and Natasha were brilliant. They were so um, accommodating. They were happy with absolutely everything we threw at them. Because again, it's, it's such, this is such a, a visual, emotional type video. Um, again, with the whole no dialogue thing. That it was kind of a case of on the day, right, this is what you're doing. Act out this motion and, and they, they were great. Um, problems arose on set in the sense that some people, the, the, not everyone chipped in as well as what I was hoping for in terms of cast and crew. Um, I found myself setting up lights, um, tripods, things like that, etc. Just equipment in general, when obviously there's people on board to do that. Um, and that left the Tash and Cameron in an opposition in the sense that they had to just kind of sit like spare parts at times. Because where things should be set up as and when requested, people prefer to sit on their phones, etc. So that wasn't particularly great. But beyond that, um, we did crack on um, structured times in, uh, because of what some people got confused on because they weren't very willing to listen to my ideas and my concept was that we were shooting everything back to front in the sense that we did the daytime stuff first, so the morning after the night before he sees her cheating. Um, film that first, and obviously it's daytime, and then we do the inner interior shots of the house and things like that. And then when it gets dark, we do the nighttime shooting. So the, the, the nighttime shooting, although it's film last, comes first in, in the, um, what's the word, continuity of the, of the video. Um, so it was structured, we did the outside stuff, came into a little bit of inside, had a lunch with all the dominoes for the actors, and the thank you, that was great. Um, then did some more interior stuff and then the plan was to do nighttime stuff. But again, because some people within the cast and crew weren't very um, committed and felt they had other places to be, resulted in us not doing night shooting. Which can be worked around and is worked around in the edit in the sense it's converted to black and white, you can play around with exposure. But any point at which you see the skyline, you can tell by the, the, the formation of the clouds and just the light in general that it's not night time and it just it, it, it doesn't work as well as what I hoped. So, for the sake of me, for want of a better word, conceding to some members of the crew, um, members that didn't really pull their weight as much as I would have liked anyway, I found myself not achieving the vision that I originally set out for, which sucks, but I mean, it's, it is what it is, it's a learning curve. Um, in regards to the shots achieved, um, breaking it down in terms of um, verses, choruses and things like that, the opening, of establishing shots of the street, which as I say should have been the night stuff, because we reached a point where people were so eager to go home, we did not only was it not dark enough, and then one door, not only was it not dark enough, it didn't suit the shot, we had to contend with school traffic, because um, you, you can't just plonk a jib in the middle of the road when there's cars coming all the time, so we had to settle for lesser shots when, again, had we waited for night time like we originally planned, we would have obviously been able to do that, obviously couldn't, as I say. Um, but regardless of that, we didn't achieve the shots in general. There's a, the, 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 it starts with obviously the car pulling in. Um, oh, it's, it's edited different to how we were originally storyboarded, obviously. Um, but the car pulling in, there, there was going to be establishing shots of the road in general, um, which obviously we didn't get to achieve. So the, the, we, had to, we had to work with what we had and slow some footage down. It's, it's, it's not particularly great in that sense, again, and I, I put that, obviously, it's my fault as a director, I've got to take responsibility for that, but I put it down to discontent within certain other members of the cast, which is probably quite harsh, but on the other hand, it's very, very true. Um, so, beyond that, when it comes to the main character, the narrator, Tom Jones, approaching the door, that is more fleshed out, because that, that in my head, was the main... Um, when listening to Delilah and obviously coming up with the concept, that was the main thing that I visualised in, in my head again, the whole panning down with the knife behind the back, etc. So that is fine. Then, um, after the murder happens off the screen, um, my idea was that the character would dart through different drawers and cupboards, etc., um, looking for bands and talent and things like that. And we got some footage like that, but A, not all of it was able to be used because it just didn't fit the rhythm and the timing of the video. Um, but also, it's a residence, and we couldn't just go tearing out their cupboards because I, I know obviously it was in agreement to shoot in the house and I understand that but on the day you can't just clear out all sorts of cupboards and then obviously the whole um, policeman thing at the end is all work I threw so that uh, we didn't have to worry about shooting that but again I just felt we were somewhat held back by some members of the crew not 
are not only fulfilling, not fulfilling what their actual role is, but also pitching in, in other areas where you could do it. Because as a director, I found myself doing quite a lot of work, in here, especially in regards to setting things up. Um, and I even obviously at some point heard um, little whispers of discontent with myself and my lack of um, organisation. Um, so that's never great to hear. But regardless, it's, it's all part of the learning curve, so that's, that's whatever. Um, another problem that arose was in regards to parking. Now obviously again, it's all shot back to front. So we started with the whole car pulling away the next morning, the lover. Um, so that car was parked on that side of the road within, uh, adjacent to the house while the boyfriend, the Tom Jones character, is on the other side. And then the original lover's car pulls away um, out of shot, which is, is fine. But then when it came to filming later stuff at night, there was meant to be the night before, everything needs to be in the same position. So there was moving about, so moving about of cars, etc. Um, which resulted in a member of the crew getting a parking ticket which isn't particularly great. There are yellow lines down the road, um, but it wasn't for that, it was for the sake of having her wheel slightly on the curve, which isn't great. So you can add to the budget the price of £55, which is not very good. Um, but regardless, that's just, it's something that arises. But yeah, no, that's another problem we um, we were met with. Um, on the whole, it, it was an all right shoot, but as I say, I keep making this point, and I'll probably sound like a broken record, but obviously discontent within some members of the crew, etc. not filling their job roles properly resulted in a not particularly great outcome. Um, but it's saved in editing. And obviously that, that was some of the best pieces are saved in editing. So hopefully um, people will feel the same with our final edit, which I'm very pleased with, etc. Um, but yeah, the, 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 it's, it's a whole learning curve type of trick. So the, the actual shoot didn't go as streamlined as what I'd hoped. But regardless, the actors, as I say, Cameron and Natasha were great, so accommodating. Um, and hopefully the final product reflects um, how happy they were to do what was requested on the day, which juxtaposes what some other people weren't really willing to do on the day, but less about that, but about that the better. Um, I can't really think of any more problems that really arose on the day. As I say, there was a whole jib thing in the row, you know, setting up of equipment, and, and, et cetera, and as I say, I found myself setting up a lot of the equipment, in, um, sometimes along with one or two other members of the crew, but obviously nine times out of ten, I found myself doing so and then when you've got to contend with school traffic etc because some people weren't willing to stay as they were originally intended to blah 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 it, it became harder and we did achieve all the shots. And I feel that the final edit could have been a lot better had we been able to achieve more shots and if people were more well, it was a cold day, it was very windy but people weren't willing to even stand outside the residence, do you know what I mean? And that's that in itself just shows um, the lack of commitment that we are faced with because if you can't brace the weather, put your coat on and film outside for a sequence that takes place outside, then what hope do you have? Um, but regardless, yeah, I think the final edit is, is good um, and that the, the editing in general saves it quite a bit because we, we like to say, we had to slow some footage down, we had, to, we had to work with what we had because we didn't achieve every sort of shot that we intended. And that again is down to some members of the crew. Um, but regardless, yeah, I'm happy. Um, hopefully the final edit speaks for itself. Pre-production wise, we were probably a bit slow in getting to recording because as I said, in every single diary from like week two, we could have shot the next day, it was just having actors. And obviously upon doing that, which was a stroke, like as I said, last production diary um, in finding Natasha and Cameron, um, that obviously allowed us to achieve what we, we wanted to in a shorter space of time. It was a lot of pre-production, then a short time in which to film and then etc but it worked out fine in the end um, but yeah it's been eventful majorly <laughs> eventful and now that it's done I can finally catch up on some sleep <laughs> but yeah that's that